Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Dubai Review. Today we are visiting the Dubai okay. Flea Market in Zabil Park. Um, the flea market's a great place to get the second-hand clothes. I think they also have uh, the flea market in JLT and in a few other places around town, so don't worry if you can't make it to Zabil Park. But we're right by the metro, the metro's over there. So it's about a five minute walk from the metro. Uh, what to bring guys, if you're coming bring some water and because the drinks, you know, they're not so cheap and uh, don't worry about what you wear. As I've learned in flea markets all around the world, uh, if you wear old clothes you're more likely to grab a bargain. And um, today we're going to try and pick up some shirts, ties, uh, work clothing which it's a great place for. Uh, if you're after clothes, then go to the flea market. A lot of people are unloading uh, their wardrobes, it's big sizes, small sizes, whatever. So you might pick up a bargain on those things. Um, one more thing is you might not expect to get everything dirt cheap because all the vendors are paying quite a bit of money to have their tables there. So um, if you want to get things dirt cheap, go towards the end when the flea market is finishing. You might not get your size, but that's when they'll uh, flick things off for next to nothing. Uh, we're going in the morning, so we might get a bit more variety, but uh, we might have to pay a little bit more too. Okay, let's check it out, guys. Come on. Okay, and there's a ticket you need to buy for five dirhams to get in, only for the one in Zabil Park. So Zabil Park is a rather large park in Dubai. As you can see there's things for the kids to do here if you have kids. Um, and this is the start of the flea market right here. So we're going to go and have a look. So here's some of the stuff you'll see. Bags, clothes. A lot of the stuff you'll see is pretty much junk but uh, then there's good stuff as well. So here we have a lot of old cameras. I haven't seen them at the flea market before, but that's interesting. What price range are these cameras going for? Yes. Wow, great. So some of them are obviously classics for the museum. Thank you. Looks like we have some fur here. A big box or two of uh, fluffy toys. And more fluffy toys. Some things are a fixed price. You have to wonder how some people accumulate so many clothes. So, um, we haven't found the business clothes yet that we're looking for, but uh, here's a whole bunch of shirts not ironed. Sometimes you find them ironed and sometimes you can find them ironed and pressed cheaper than it costs to get them ironed and ironed and pressed professionally. Just an idea <laughs> if you take your clothes to the dry cleaner often. Here I am in the grassy part you can get an idea how big it is. There's quite a lot of shoes and jewellery. How much is this jewellery here? There's only two dollars. Okay. And three dollars. Italian. Italian. Solid gold. Okay. Non, non tarnished gold. And how much are they? This one I gave it to you 35 for the whole wholesale price. Okay. This one is 40 with a bracelet. And earrings. Solid gold or gold plated? Non, non tarnished uh, gold plated. Okay. Five dirhams, that's about $1.50 US. Is this new or second hand? Okay. Looks pretty new. 
So many clothes. Many people too. So here we are in another part. It's so very crowded. So many people. The time is about uh, 10 at the moment in the morning. Normally when I come about uh, 1 or 2 p.m. it's a little bit less crowded than this. But probably some of the good stuff is sold. Whatever the good stuff is, whatever you're after, I'm not sure. Maybe your size. Since we're in a park it is possible to get out of the hustle and bustle and the crowds of the market. So, some slightly touristic stuff here. How much are these t-shirts? Five dirham. Okay. Okay, I'll take this one then. Thank you. Looks like if you would want to open a hairdresser shop, you'd be in luck. <laughs> Some art can be found as well. Let's see the price. 90. I got some uh, bowls for one dirham each uh, for my cats to feed off. And I just bought a couple of shirts, 10 dirhams each, right here. Um, they're pretty average shirts, but um, the price is not bad. And I got a couple of nice ties as well. They're very nice quality, uh, five dirhams each. So we're about to go home. I can show you some of the things I bought uh, last week and the year before because I was going there last year as well. Okay, great. Items that are apparently from Italy. I don't know. <laughs> Handbags. Okay. How much are these? Fifteen. Finished now, and let's see what Matthew got here. I got this jacket for fifteen. This uh, new, brand new pants. The tag was still intact. I got it for like twenty-five. And uh, this leather book you know, for meeting or something, you got to pretend they're arms. It's good. Great. Great. thought I was finished too, but uh, I found a few more bargains. I got these two shirts, unbranded, for five dirhams each. They look pretty clean. And I got these shorts, a bit of a bargain, but they weren't my size. Uh, two for 15. Cotton, that's 15 dirhams, so that's about, uh, five dollars each pretty good okay so we're off now thanks for tuning in and make sure you subscribe to my channel the dubai review see you next time bye